Hello, I'm Amy Jinna. I hope many of you know me. I'm a teacher. I've been teaching the O-level and A-level students for the last 12 years. In this long journey, I've worked at several famous institutions, including Sunbeams, as well as I taught thousands of students in my personal care. Every of the semester, I get many new students who come here for their O-level preparation eventually complete their A-level with me. It's a really matter of immense pleasure to have this feedback from my students followed by my personal effort for them. Recently, I've decided to have interviews with my billion students who are having world-class result so that our new learners, new students can benefit of them. In these interviews, I've asked them some common questions, which are, which of the subjects they had best result. I also wanted to know from them how do they evaluate our support for their chemistry preparation. As you know, they've joined with us for the A-level course after completing their O-level with us. So I asked them was the decision to join with us for the A-level course was right? I asked them to suggest the new students how they can also have very good results like them. Now let's see how do they respond to my questions. Which of the subjects have you scored best result? Um, I am Sumaya Akhtar. I am studying in Bangladesh Medical College. Um, I have completed my A-levels from uh, academia with four subjects and I have the best result in chemistry. Oh, obviously in chemistry. Obviously, that was uh, like most, like what was the like most preferred subject of mine. Oh, I was my uh, score was uh, in AS. It was three hundred out of three hundred. That means full marks in all the units. Unit one, two, and three. Uh, you scored uh, full marks in five units yes. out of six units. I have got the my best result in chemistry, which is about ninety percent marks. Uh, I have got uh, two hundred eighty four in AS and 286 in A2 chemistry. Uh, I did good in uh, most of my subjects in LFOs, but definitely I did best in chemistry. Uh, the subject I scored best in was chemistry. What is that? What is the score? The score was 298 out of 300. Oh, you just too short of 300. Yes, exactly. Oh, very close. Uh, you know, you've joined with us for your A-level after completing your O-level with us. Do you think now, your decision for joining with us for your A-level, right? I mean, are you happy for doing your A-level with us? Uh, yes, it was right. Uh, since I have got my best result in chemistry, so uh, I would say, Alhamdulillah, it was a good decision. So without the support, it wouldn't be possible for me. Yes, I am very much happy about rejoining during the A-levels because as I previously said, Sir is a very good teacher. He gives you everything you need. And if you ever lack something, he's always there to remind you that you should do better or, uh, yeah, you should do better. Definitely. It was definitely right because I did much better in A levels than I did in O levels. So, definitely, that was a really good decision. Obviously, I must say that I'm pretty, like, very much grateful to you because. The way of your teaching is like I do not need to like study at home at all. Like in class, I used to understand every topic. It was like a total step uh, package of education. Actually, the uh, assignment in class, class lectures, uh, class tests, uh, weekly class tests, and um, well monitored class, well arranged lectures, and uh, I'm. I'm actually the luckiest. I think I got the best chemistry teacher. Now I know how to evaluate our support, our effort for your chemistry preparation. The class environment was so nice. Actually, uh, all the tasks, all the topics that we did in the class was finished here, and we, we did not have to study a lot in our home. We helped us to focus on the other subject, and and that's the only reason for good result in chemistry. There was a lot of taste. Uh, class tests, weekly class tests, monthly class tests. So, like, I do not need to study any more uh, chemistry in, uh, in uh, at home. Can help me to get better grades in other subjects. 
because I do not have any tension with chemistry. I know that yes, I have finished everything within the class. So I can concentrate more on other subjects at home. Uh, it's it's like uh, without the help of uh, the Zinna sir, I couldn't have completed my A level so easily. Uh, at first, uh, he had always tried to uh, explain everything very clearly so that our concepts are clear, and uh, this helped me to uh, manage all the calculations in a chemistry, which is very important to get a. All. Uh, I really appreciated it so much mainly because um, you made us go through a lot of tests, not to mention the innumerable worksheets that you gave us. And that was a very good exercise um, in education, so I think that is very a quality to admire. Yeah, it was definitely, there weren't any distractions as I've seen because the classroom was usually always quiet, so there's more space for concentration. and. The environment mainly was very good. It was excellent for learning. I think the support I got was really great. Uh, attending class here, all I had to do was just be attentive because Sarah is such a great teacher. Uh, he gives all of the materials that we need uh, to score well. All you have to do is just listen to him. You have to study a little bit at home maybe because of course you can't just attend the class and remember everything, but you do have to be attentive and just maybe read through the notes once a day, or... Yeah, uh, now have some suggestions for our new learners, new students, so that they can also have very good results like you. At first, uh, like, I need to say them that they should concentrate more on the teacher's lecture, like in the class, they should be more attentive. And then at home, like they should practice more and more uh, question papers. Like, though like one cannot practice questions at the full length until their syllabus finished, but they should do like the exercise, at least the exercise at the end of the book, like chapter, at the end of the chapter, so that they get up to date to the question, the kind of question that can be coming from that particular topic. And my best wish to all of the students, like, and I really hope that they also do some great results, like get full marks now. Well, uh, you have to have a goal. You can't just reach something that you want without thinking that you want to reach it. So you have to think that yes, I have to get this result and I will get this result. And so for that, you have to accordingly work for it. <clears throat> you should also be attentive in class because if you don't know what you're working for, <laughs> you can't have it. So yeah, that's all. You will definitely want to have a certain aim like say I will score an A star or I want to score full marks. So if you're wanting to score full marks, you will score definitely better than an A star. But if you're wanting an A, uh, if you're wanting an A, you will not score an A star. So that's how it goes. Always aim for the highest possible thing and work for it. Uh, everyone's way of studying is different, but there are certain things that we can follow in order to get better results, definitely. we. What I used to do is I used to attend all of my classes, most definitely, and f uh, most of the work is done in the classroom. Uh, and given that you had given us so many tests, we had continuous practice. We didn't have to do any extra work or any extra effort. We just had to study for those frequent tests. That was it. So being regular is definitely a thing. Concentrate, giving your 100% in the classroom is always key to getting better marks. So there is always that. Um, if you're regular in class, that's one thing. But if you're regular and you're concentrating in class, that's another. So if someone comes to class regularly but doesn't concentrate, that doesn't mean they'll do they good. Do. Uh, if they, they need to concentrate. Definitely, you need to um, come regularly, but you also need to concentrate in class, put in your 100% if you want to do really good. Otherwise, you, you won't, that's the thing. At first, uh, as you have always taught us that uh, we, should be, we should set our goal uh, to be successful. Uh, unless we set our goal, we can't actually reach anywhere. Uh, uh, from my childhood, uh, I have always wanted to be a doctor. So it was like, uh, it was my fixed goal. So I have always, uh, studied like that so that I, the path in front of me get easier. If we have the faith and if we can set our goal, we can actually reach wherever we want. So at first we have to set our goal and then we have to 
uh, be attentive in class because we need to listen to everything that you say. Most importantly, uh, we have to uh, study regularly. Uh, without studying regularly, it will be very difficult to do good because uh, the, study, uh, the uh, things that we need to study are so much. If we don't uh, study regularly, uh, we can't actually cope up at the last moment. We have to always keep in touch with the studies, whatever the lecture is. We have to always go through all the lectures after getting done with the class. So if we study regularly, the things that we study are less. If we study uh, at one time, and uh, there will be a lot of things to study if we don't study regularly so we have to be regular to do good finally i want to say as a teacher i wish you good health a good future and good life thank you for watching this video and being with us